Hi everyone, Drecky here, and today I'm reviewing the C80 projector. Despite a few small issues, I believe that this is one of the better values in sub $100 projectors. Now, it won't hold up to the likes of mainstream brands like Epson or Optima, but those projectors are between 5 and 20 times the price, so if you're just looking to do the occasional movie night, this one will do the trick fine. If you want something for more regular use though, I'd suggest going with a mainstream brand instead. Before we start digging into this review, there's something I need to clarify. Most of the budget projectors available on Amazon say that they are HD or even 4K, but the sellers are stretching the truth. In reality, they often project at a native resolution of 854 by 480 which is not even 720p. They also tend to overstate their brightness. The C80, on the other hand, is an exception at its price point because it has a true resolution of 720p, and the Amazon seller I got it from clearly states the brightness in industry standard and C lumens. So kudos to them, and I've left their link in the description in case you're interested in checking this out for yourself. Included in the box is the projector, a 6 foot long power cable, a remote, and an RGB input cable. Build quality between these cheap projectors is largely similar, so if you're comparing this to other options, I don't think you can do better. It's all plastic and a little bit hollow feeling, though the plastic does fit together fairly solidly. The legs don't extend at all. Instead, you get this little flap on the bottom as a very, very basic adjustment. The projector does also offer a slight tilt adjustment that's really only useful if you're hanging it upside down. If you're going to have it on a table, I suggest getting a small tripod and using the screw on the bottom. On the whole, this is a basic projector. It turns on and displays images and that's about it. In order to meet the $100 price point, the C80 foregoes a few features. There's no wireless display, there's only one HDMI port, and the operating system has few settings. But what it lacks in features, it does make up for with the higher resolution versus the competition. There is also a model featuring built-in Android called the C80 Up, but it costs $50 more than the basic model. And honestly, for $50 extra, you can get a separate Android box that'll have more RAM, a better processor, and improved thermal management than what the C80 Up will give you, so I suggest skipping that. Built-in Android on projectors tends to suck worse than a broken vacuum, so the best value is in the basic model. In terms of actual projection quality, there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, you'll need to use this projector in a pitch black room. Daytime use is a no-go, as any ambient light more or less drowns out the projection, but assuming you have a dark room or some good blackout blinds, this projector does have a decent picture quality overall. The increase in resolution versus other cheap projectors is noticeable, especially when it comes to things like browsing web pages with text. Ideal projection distance with this is between 6 and 8 feet. There's no zoom, so you're stuck moving the projector back and forth in order to get the size that you want. As with other cheap projectors, it can be tough to get the entire image in perfect focus, but in the end, the quality of the projection will all come down to your specific room, how the projector is mounted, and sample variation. Where the projector really shines is for bright and colorful content such as anime and cartoons. By default, the color settings are way too overstated, but with some adjustment, the colors it reproduces are accurate and detailed. Here are the settings I found to be ideal, and I'd suggest this as a good starting point. Just tweak it a little bit either way to see what looks best for you. I don't recommend being too heavy handed on any slider, or it will severely wash out the colors and details. Dark footage like Game of Thrones or other dramas doesn't work as well as the bright and colorful footage does but it's still pretty watchable overall, assuming you are in a dark room. If you plug in a USB hard drive or flash drive, this projector can play back basic video files, and I didn't have issues with it reading formats like AVI or MPEG-4, but I did notice some high resolution MKV files had the audio out of sync. All of the issues I've mentioned thus far are relatively small and common at this price point. The flexibility and brightness are trade-offs I've just come to expect from budget projectors, but there was one thing that I was not a fan of, and that was the fan noise. It is so darn loud, and quite frankly, I think that mine must be defective or have gotten bumped in transport or something because it's abnormally loud even for a cheap projector.
Unfortunately, it's not feasible for me to get my hands on another sample for comparison, but I might give it a shot to replacing the fan. It looks like a standard computer fan in there, so I don't think it'd be too hard. I'd recommend using a headset, or if you have good speakers at a reasonable volume, you'll drown it out. But the fan in this projector is pushing the maximum volume I would consider acceptable. Speaking of speakers, there's also a built-in speaker that's actually relatively good for its price point. Not that it's going to blow you away like the fan noise does, but dialogue from the speaker is clear, it just lacks punchy bass. Unfortunately, the audio issue extends a little bit further, as the headphone output on my projector was also a problem. The audio that comes out of the headphone jack is so bad, I'm not even going to make a pun out of it. I'm just going to recommend that you use the audio output on your source device instead of the one built into the projector. Finally, let's talk about gaming. There is a little bit of lag, but it's not as bad as I expected. The projector does not have a dedicated game mode, but if you set the source device to 720p instead of its default 1080p, the lag is less than I expected. Anything that requires millisecond accuracy like shooter games will be tough to play. I played the Crash Bandicoot remaster for a few hours and found it to be pretty good. It was only as frustrating as the game normally is. Overall, this is the budget projector to get if you care most about resolution, and I figure it's one of the better options under $100. The image quality is a significant step up from most 480p projectors, and even though it's not particularly bright and it lacks features like wireless display, many other budget projectors are around the same brightness and the wireless displays on them usually don't work too well anyways. Use this in a totally dark room and it'll be fine, especially considering the price, but if you want something brighter and usable in daylight, then definitely stick to a mainstream brand. Subs and thumbs support my channel, and as always, thank you for watching. It always freaks me out a little when cheap products have a flame in their logo, cause it kinda makes me worried that it'll burn my house down.